The six most powerful functions of relay. Relays are versatile devices that play a crucial role in controlling electrical circuits. Their primary function is to open or close contacts in response to a signal, thereby allowing or interrupting the flow of current. Here are six powerful functions of relays. The switching function of a relay is fundamental to its operation. A relay is essentially an electromagnetic switch that uses a small control signal to open or close one or more sets of contacts. This switching action allows the relay to control the flow of electrical current in a circuit. Here's how the switching function works. Basic operation. A relay consists of two main parts, the coil and the contacts. The coil is an electromagnet that, when energized, generates a magnetic field. The contacts are movable metallic components that are attracted or repelled by the magnetic field when the coil is energized. Normally open, NO, and normally closed, NC, contacts. In its resting state, when the coil is not energized, a relay may have normally open, NO, or normally closed, NC, contacts. In a NO relay, the contacts are open, not connected, by default, and in an NC relay, the contacts are closed, connected, by default. Energizing the coil. When an electrical current flows through the coil, it becomes an electromagnet. The magnetic field produced by the energized coil either attracts or repels the contacts, depending on the relay type. Switching action. If the relay has normally open contacts, the magnetic force pulls the contacts together, closing the circuit. If the relay has normally closed contacts, the magnetic force pushes the contacts apart, opening the circuit. Control signal. The coil is energized by applying a control signal, typically a low voltage signal, to the relay. This control signal can come from a variety of sources, such as a switch, a microcontroller, or another electronic device. Isolation. One of the key advantages of relays is their ability to provide electrical isolation between the control circuit, which activates the coil, and the load circuit, which is connected to the contacts. This isolation is essential for protecting sensitive control components from the potentially higher voltages and currents in the load circuit. In summary, the switching function of a relay involves using a low-power control signal to activate an electromagnet, which, in turn, causes the contacts to open or close, controlling the flow of electrical current in the load circuit. This basic function is crucial in various applications where the separation of control and load circuits is necessary or where electrical isolation is required. The amplification function of a relay refers to its ability to control a larger electrical load using a relatively weak control signal. This is achieved by using the control signal to energize the relay coil, which then controls the much larger current or voltage in the load circuit. Here's how the amplification function works in a relay. Control signal. The relay is designed to respond to a low power control signal, which is typically a voltage or current at a level that is easy to generate by electronic components like switches, sensors, or microcontrollers. Relay coil. The relay includes a coil of wire that acts as an electromagnet. When the control signal is applied to the coil, it induces a magnetic field around it. Magnetic field. The magnetic field produced by the energized coil is the key to the amplification function. This magnetic field is capable of exerting force on the relay's movable contacts. Contacts. The relay has one or more sets of contacts that are influenced by the magnetic field. When the coil is energized, these contacts are either attracted or repelled, depending on the relay design. Load circuit. The contacts of the relay are part of the load circuit. By opening or closing these contacts, the relay controls the flow of a much larger current or voltage in the load circuit. Isolation. The relay provides electrical isolation between the control circuit, where the weak signal is present, and the load circuit, where the larger current or voltage is controlled. This isolation is essential for protecting sensitive control components. Amplification ratio. The ratio between the control signal and the load signal is often referred to as the amplification ratio. 
Relays can have high amplification ratios, allowing them to control heavy loads with a relatively small control signal. This amplification function is valuable in situations where it is impractical or unsafe to directly control a high power load using a low power control signal. Relays act as intermediaries, enabling the use of small, easily manageable signals to control larger and more powerful electrical circuits. This makes them essential in various applications, including industrial automation, automotive systems, and electrical control panels. Isolation, in the context of relays, refers to the separation of different electrical circuits to prevent undesirable interactions or disturbances. Relays provide isolation between the control circuit and the load circuit, and this isolation serves several important purposes. Protecting control components. The control circuit often involves electronic components such as microcontrollers, sensors, or low-power switches. These components may be sensitive to high voltages or currents present in the load circuit. Isolation prevents these sensitive components from being directly exposed to the conditions of the load circuit. Enhancing safety. Isolation improves safety by preventing electrical shocks and reducing the risk of fire or damage to equipment. In the event of a fault or malfunction in the load circuit, the isolation provided by the relay helps contain the impact within that circuit preventing it from affecting the control circuit. Compatibility between different systems. Isolation allows for compatibility between systems with different voltage levels or electrical characteristics. The control circuit may operate at a lower voltage or current than the load circuit, and the relay acts as a barrier, ensuring that the characteristics of one circuit do not adversely affect the other. Noise reduction. Electrical noise, such as electromagnetic interference, EMI, or radio frequency interference, RFI, can be present in the load circuit. Isolation helps prevent this noise from affecting the sensitive components in the control circuit. Grounding issues. Isolation helps mitigate grounding issues. If the control circuit and load circuit have different ground references, direct electrical connections could lead to ground loops or unwanted currents. The relay acts as a barrier, preventing such issues. Compliance with safety standards. Isolation is often a requirement in safety standards and regulations. Using relays with appropriate isolation helps ensure that electrical systems comply with industry standards and guidelines. The isolation in relays can be achieved through various means, such as optocouplers, transformers, or solid-state devices. Opticouplers, for example, use light signals to transmit information across an isolation barrier. Transformers use electromagnetic induction to isolate the primary and secondary windings. Overall, the isolation function in relays is crucial for maintaining the integrity and reliability of electrical systems, protecting sensitive components, and ensuring the safety of both equipment and personnel. A latching relay, also known as a bistable relay, possesses a latching function, which means it can maintain its state either open or closed, even when the control signal is removed. Unlike standard relays that rely on a continuous supply of power to sustain their state, latching relays use a unique mechanism to latch into their current position until a specific action is taken. Here's how the latching function works. Dual Coil Design Latching relays typically have two coils, known as the set coil and the reset coil. These coils are responsible for toggling the relay between its two states, energized and de-energized. Energizing to set state. When the set coil is energized with a control signal, it generates a magnetic field that attracts the relay's armature or lever, causing the contacts to move into the closed or open position, depending on the relay's design. Maintaining the state. The latching relay remains in this set state even after the control signal is removed. This is because the armature is mechanically latched into place, ensuring that the contacts stay in their current position. Resetting the relay. To change the state of the latching relay, the reset coil is energized with a separate control signal. This generates a magnetic field that counteracts the latching mechanism, releasing the armature and allowing the contacts to return to their initial position. No continuous power required. 
One key advantage of latching relays is that they do not require a continuous power supply to maintain their state. Once set, they remain in that state until intentionally reset, making them energy efficient in applications where power consumption is a concern. Applications Latching relays are commonly used in scenarios where power availability is intermittent or energy efficiency is crucial. They find applications in power distribution systems, telecommunications, memory circuits, and other situations where maintaining a specific state without continuous power is desirable. Memory function The latching function of these relays gives them a memory-like capability, as they can remember their state even when the control signal is no longer present. This memory function can be advantageous in certain automation and control systems. Latching relays are versatile components with unique advantages, offering a solution to specific requirements where energy efficiency, intermittent power, or memory-like behavior is essential. A relay with a time delay function is designed to introduce a delay between the application or removal of a control signal and the corresponding change in the state of the relay contacts. This delay can be preset and is used in various applications where timing is critical. Here's how the time delay function in relays works. Timing mechanism. Relays with time delay functionality are equipped with a timing mechanism, which may include components like resistors, capacitors, or electronic circuits to control the timing interval. Delay types. There are different types of time delays, including delay on operate, do, delay on release, dr, interval delay, and cumulative delay. The type of delay determines whether the relay changes its state after a set time when the control signal is applied or removed. Delay adjustment. The time delay is often adjustable, allowing users to set the desired delay period according to the requirements of the specific application. This adjustment can be achieved through external controls or internal settings on the relay. Control signal application. When the control signal is applied to the relay, instead of an immediate response, the relay enters the delay period. The contacts will only change their state after the specified delay time has elapsed. Control signal removal. In relays with delay on release, when the control signal is removed, the relay enters a delay period before the contacts return to their original state. This delay can be crucial in preventing rapid and undesired state changes. Applications Time delay relays find applications in various scenarios where timing is critical. For example, they are used in industrial automation for sequencing, motor control, and timed events. They are also employed in lighting control, HVAC systems, and other situations where controlled delays are necessary. Protection and coordination. Time delay relays can be used for protective functions, preventing unnecessary tripping or switching of circuits during transient conditions. They help coordinate the timing of events in a system, ensuring proper sequencing and avoiding issues like inrush currents. Sequential control. In some applications, time delay relays are used for sequential control, where different components or processes are activated in a specific order with predefined time gaps between them. In summary, time delay relays provide a means to introduce controlled delays in the operation of electrical circuits, allowing for precise timing in a variety of applications. Fault protection in relays involves the capability to detect abnormal conditions or faults in an electrical circuit and take appropriate actions to mitigate potential damage or hazards. Relays with fault protection features are crucial components in various systems where the reliable and safe operation of electrical equipment is essential. Here's how fault protection functions in relays. Monitoring parameters. Fault protection relays are designed to monitor specific electrical parameters such as current, voltage, temperature, or frequency within the circuit they are protecting. Deviations from normal operating conditions can indicate a fault. Overcurrent protection Overcurrent relays are a common type of fault protection relay. They detect and respond to excessive current flowing in the circuit, which could result from a short circuit or an overload condition. The relay opens the contacts to interrupt the current flow and prevent damage. Overvoltage and undervoltage protection. 
relays can monitor voltage levels and respond to over-voltage or under-voltage conditions. Over-voltage protection helps prevent equipment damage from voltage spikes, while under-voltage protection ensures that equipment operates within its specified voltage range. Thermal protection. Some relays are equipped with thermal sensors to monitor temperature conditions. Overheating can be an indication of a fault or abnormal operation, and thermal protection relays can respond by disconnecting the load to prevent damage. Frequency protection. Frequency relays monitor the frequency of the electrical signal. Deviations from the normal frequency range can indicate a fault, and the relay can act to protect the equipment or system. Ground fault protection. Ground fault relays detect current imbalances between the phase conductors and the ground. This is important for preventing electric shocks and ensuring the safety of personnel. Distance protection. Distance relays are commonly used in power transmission systems to protect against faults by measuring the impedance or distance to the fault location. They can distinguish between different types of faults and initiate appropriate protective actions. Coordination with circuit breakers. Fault protection relays often work in coordination with circuit breakers. When a fault is detected, the relay sends a signal to the circuit breaker to open, isolating the faulty section of the circuit. Alarm and notification. In addition to taking corrective actions, fault protection relays may provide alarms or notifications to alert operators or maintenance personnel about the detected fault. This allows for timely investigation and resolution. Fault protection relays play a critical role in maintaining the integrity and reliability of electrical systems by promptly responding to abnormal conditions, preventing equipment damage, and enhancing the overall safety of the system. These functions make relays essential components in a wide range of applications, including industrial automation, power systems, telecommunications, and electronic control circuits. The specific features and capabilities of relays can vary depending on the type and design of the relay.